Well, what's up, ladies and gents? I'm your host, Industry One. Welcome to the newest walkthrough on the channel, Prison Break The Conspiracy, based off of the hit TV show, Prison Break, of course. This is a stealth game. You're going to be in all kinds of really cool stealth things moving around the prison and all that kind of stuff, so I thought we would give this a shot and put it on the channel. Going to play on the hardest difficulty, Shark, so I hope you guys appreciate that challenge. If you guys want to support the channel, buy me a coffee. We've taken the music out because it will be copyrighted, so if you do want to support the channel, please do so in the links in the description. Otherwise, it's go time. We got seven men on the outside. Repeat, seven inmates gone rabbit. Get the dogs. My name is Tom Paxton. I'm on an undercover mission for the company at Fox River State Penitentiary. If you're hearing this, that means I'm dead. Inmates over the wall. Escape. Escape. <laughs> First thing you learn in this business, cover your back. This recording is my insurance. New assignment, Paxton. You're going undercover at Fox River Penitentiary. Come on, boss. Prison? Your subject is Lincoln Burroughs. We framed him for the murder of the Vice President's brother. Buried him good. But now his kid brother's in the mix. Michael Schofield, clean-cut kid, genius type. Suddenly holds up a bank and gets himself sent to Fox River. We need to know what he's up to. Secret Service? Or is the company pulling the strings? Company business. We worked hard to put Burroughs in the ground. We need to know if Schofield's gonna mess that up. You don't like me, do you, Maddox? Not much, but this has nothing to do with that. Observe and report, that's your mission. No rough stuff. Anyone finds out I'm an agent, I'm dead. What's my cover? Murder one. I did you a favor. Could have made a child molesting. At Paxson, leave the voice recorder behind this time. This ain't summer camp, kiddies. Roll call. Fiorello. Back again, dumbass? Looks like it, boss. Shut up, stupid. All I want to hear is yes, sir. Yes, sir. Schofield. Yes, sir. Paxton. You playing games, son? Look at me and call it out. You got to learn to listen, Con. Yes, sir. Punch it back. Out of my face. <laughs> What's up, dude? Check out this small one. I think he's crying. Boo hoo. What are you looking at? <laughs> What's up, dude? <laughs> Fresh fish. Get your ass on the line! Place is pretty intense, huh? It's prison. They got some real hard cases here. The Southside Butcher, the guy who killed the VP's brother. I wouldn't know. Don't talk much, do you? And you don't shut up. This is prison. I'm not here to make friends. Jones! Open up the gate! Okay, animals, get your ass inside and meet your new pal, Officer Bellick. Just think of Bellick as your new cruise director. Hey, watch your step. Hey, I didn't do it, man. Shut your pie holes, ladies, and listen to Patterson. Welcome to your new home, convicts. We're taking off your cuffs. 
But don't try anything, cute. One false move and you'll do your time hog time. Now move on down the hall to our VIP welcome center. Hurry up, boys. You don't want to keep Bellic waiting. Faster, move your ass! There isn't any flying under my radar. We're done here. Move along. You're next, fish. Name and back number. Paxton Thomas, 133709. You playing games, Paxton? Not me, boss. Good, because any games that go on in here, I win. Now swim along, guppy. Let's go. Follow me. Wait here. You! Up the stairs, now! Ha 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 Ain't no one gonna save your ass now! Come closer! Close 39! You get a prize! Schofield, get in! Sucra, you got a new friend! Make him feel at home! Close 40! Paxton, you're next! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the fishy eye cost! Avocado, cut the crap! Officially, I don't exist. I'm an agent for the company, an organization who keeps the world stable by controlling economies and telling countries not to blow each other up. Burroughs is a small pawn in a bigger game. The company needs him to go on ice, on schedule, and that's what's gonna happen. My mission is to observe and report, but you don't send a guy like me to a place like this unless you're expecting to see some blood spilled. Here's hoping it's not mine. One thing about Schofield, his tattoo. Looks more like a south side banger than a structural engineer. What's up with that? All right, one thing you'll notice is the commentary is gonna be very minimal, just really discussing the parts that I feel that I need to explain. This game has a very, very straightforward uh, linear approach to it. So it's not too difficult in that aspect. There are gonna be certain things you need to do in order to complete the chapters. As you go around, try to be stealthy, uh, complete missions for the different inmates and all that kind of stuff as you're solving this mystery that takes place between season one of Prison Break TV show. Uh, other than that, there's not gonna be a lot of commentary just during some of the stealth sections and things like that. You can get into fights with anyone that you see here that has that kind of little emblem of above them. Fighting is going to be something that you do a lot in the game, so you need to get good at it. There's mechanics for that, which we'll go over in just a little bit. But other than that, everything is going to be really straightforward. Uh, it's not a very long game as well. This is a game you can no longer purchase. So because of that reason, um, it's in abandoned wear. So you can actually search for this game online and get it because you can't actually purchase the game itself. So I definitely recommend going uh, and checking it out. I think you'll really, really enjoy it. Other than that, I'll see you during those sections. First time inside? Yeah. Here's some advice, Fish. There's two kinds of time. Hard and easy. Hard time is being locked up all alone in the secure housing unit, the shoe. Easy time is, well, <laughs> easy. Which kind you want? Easy sounds good. Smart man. Now see T-Bag over there? He's been crossing me up, just begging for some hard time. Go pick a fight with him, and I'll know you and me got an understanding. Don't do it. And it's the shoe for you. Break it up, convict! I'm coming after you, teabag. I suggest you equip yourself with more than those two sticks of licorice. We'll see about that. You teabag, we need to talk. 
Oh my, does the pretty little guppy need protection in this big bad aquarium? I go my own way. This little pond you call your turf, I get free passage. Guppy wants to swim in my pond, Guppy's got to pay maintenance and upkeep. Unless you want us to fight, and for that, I don't think you have the requisite testicular proportions. So in my opinion, one of the coolest things about this game is having all of the original voice actors to play each and every one of their parts. It really helps sell the game. So here's your fighting tutorial. I'm using mouse and keyboard controls. Uh, shift is what you're going to want to use to block, which will open up things for you to be able to do parries. It does take a little bit of time to get used to the controls. And the game is... There's a, a bit of wonkiness to it as well, so you just gotta kind of remember that. Just ease into it. If you're playing on the hardest difficulty, it can definitely be a challenge. So as I go through the game, and we'll hopefully end up getting better with the combat and whatnot. Other than that, the game is not really that difficult. You should be able to get through. Just do some Tea bag. You just got your country ass a one-way ride to the show. Ah, the light begins to dawn. Like the song says, looks like I've been set up like a bowling pin. Watch your back, milk chicken. Taking on tea bags is a sure way to gain some respect of the brothers in this place. And you can throw your fist, white boy. My name is Cino. Now, how would you like to earn some green? What do you got in mind? There's Mr. King. He runs the fights. Everyone's in on it. Even the guards. You lose, bad news. You win. You grin. One way to actually get better at brawling is to go ahead and work out. There are, as far as I know right now, two different ways to work out via the uh, bench press or the heavy bag. So on the hardest difficulty, it's very difficult. Punch, the timing is miss. very, very low. Uh, so you need to be very quick when you see that thing pop up on the screen in order to do it. So what you're going to see is in the middle of the left part of the screen, you'll see a guy kind of posing there, and you'll see that little white line. What you want to do is get your red portion of that all the way up to that white line. Once that happens, that means you can no longer do, you can continue to work out, but you're no longer going to actually gain the prowess in the brawling system. There's, I guess you could say there's a little bit of a system that kind of goes through each stage as you get better and better at fighting. So expect to do a lot of fighting in this game. So the heavy bag is the one that I prefer to do as opposed to the bench press, as the bench press can be a little wonky, especially on the keyboard controls. I don't know what the controls are as far as if you're playing this on 360. The game did come out on 360, so maybe you played it then, or, or maybe you can find a copy of it in a hidden gem store or hidden game store or something like that. But other than that, this is the PC edition, so just specifically everything that I'm saying is going over the actual PC controls. So you just need to follow these prompts, and we're going to do that every chapter to make sure that we get our level up more and more so that way we get better at the combat. And there's going to be more combat coming up later on in this chapter as well Punch. and you will get used to it uh, but I definitely recommend you to pick fights with the people that it allows Punch. you to so that way you can just kind of get used to it and, and make the experience be a little better uh, the other type of experience you're going to have in the game Punch. is going around talking to different inmates Come on, uh, doing missions for them doing like sneaky parts Punch. where you're trying to get around guards and Come things on, like Punch. that just like the TV show um, except punch. you're doing it in uh, third person and uh, you need to be stealthy as possible. On, on this difficulty, punch, it can on, be really punch, tough miss, because blah. you're on the shark difficulty. They don't show you miss. where they are. So it becomes a lot more challenging, but I think we're up for it. Hey, King, I found a hot one. The boy can punch. <laughs> Big man wants to earn, huh? I'll take a shot. See, note, I ain't taking any more of your fighters till I get the meds you owe me. When we are all right. Your boy can fight. Listen, Snowflake. My connection hit my stash in the boiler room, but got himself shanked before he told me where. Find those meds for me, and you get to fight. Even on the inside, cash is king. Fighting to get money might help me get closer to Schofield. All right, so here is the tutorial for stealth. Stealth is pretty easy. You can get and hide behind objects or get into cover with Q. And then you just need to essentially wait until they're not looking in your direction. You, you can use the di different button icons that show up that teach you how to kind of get around or jump to the next cover. Um, this guy, you don't really need to worry about too much. Just stay out of his peripheral vision. You're going to use the F to focus because it'll really help you out telling you where to go and stuff. But usually when you see these little yellow markers or outlines, 
they kind of explain to you where you can climb and what you can do. Very easy platforming. It's nothing too difficult to do. And, you know, I remember this game when it first came out, and I never played it. I don't know why I didn't, because I was a huge fan of the actual TV series, but I think I just had so much other stuff going on at the time that I never got around to it. And this is one of those licensed games, so it didn't get reviewed very well or anything like that. And there are a lot of bugs and certain stuff that you're going to run into. But all in all, if you're a fan of the Prison Break series, then this is a gem to play because it just really helps to immerse you more into the TV show than just by watching it. If you're a fan of stealth games, this is not really going to do anything to you know, make you love stealth games even more. The stealth in this game is very basic and simple, but what it gives you to do is, is fun, and I've just, I've had a blast playing it so far, so I hope you guys enjoy it as well. First chapter has some very, very basic, simple missions for you to do for C-Note, and again, I just love the fact that there's, all the voices are there. Everyone that I've heard so far is their actual real-life voice counterpart, so... That means a lot to me when a licensed game can actually get the ones who are really playing in that specific TV show or movie to come and voice, uh, you know, their characters in the game. Even though you're not playing as Michael or anything like that, um, you're playing as a guy who you've never even heard of, who you never see in the TV series itself. So it's it's interesting to see how they come up with ways to putting him in certain situations, uh, but to keep him out of, of what you would have normally, you know, kind of saw in the TV show. Pharmacy delivery. Good job, Snowflake. Well, you got potential, white boy. Hit the heavy bag, do some burners, you could do all right. Meantime, you ever want some tats, bring me the cash. I'll link you up righteous. What about the new guy, Schofield? What about him? His tattoo. Ain't my work, but I know it's fresh. Michael? What the hell are you doing here? Roll it up, Burroughs! I'm breaking you out, Link. Impossible. Not if you design the place. But first, I gotta get into prison industries. Burroughs! I said move your ass! <laughs> Schofield's planning a prison break. No details yet. I gotta tell Mannix. Mannix. Here's the deal with Schofield. He wants to bust his brother out. No way. That place is like Fort Knox. I know, but Boy Genius has a plan. It involves prison industries. I gotta get in there. Painting? Maintenance? Crap like that? Talk to Charles Westmoreland. He'll know how to get you on a work crew. Charles Westmoreland? I know you. I knew your wife before she passed. You knew Marla? You mean Anne. How'd you know her? I was the janitor in her school. East Farmington. You mean West Wilmington. Okay, no more tests. You want to learn the ropes? Look around. Trey Street Deuce has got hoops. Norteño's got handball. Woods got the weight pile. Then there's Bellick and his boys. Dirtiest gang in the whole place. Only difference between us and them is the badge. Thanks for the tour, but I need to get into prison industries. Ah, uh, that's a string I can't pull. You need John Abruzzi. He runs P.I. Abruzzi? The mob boss? Right over there, son. Time to go kiss the ring. Thanks. One thing to note that I've done is I've taken all the music down because copyright is really big on this, so if you do want to support the channel, Buy me a coffee and uh, show your love and check out the links.
Hey, no fighting. Unless the CEOs get a piece of the action. Now get inside. I hear you're the man to talk to about P.I. Who the hell are you? Someone who needs a favor. Funny. That fish Schofield just asked me the same thing. Beat it! I don't do favors. Then maybe we can do business. Any chores you need done? Bello, let's see if you can swim fish. One of my guy's teats I hear is turning rat. But I gotta know for sure before I exterminate him. Okay, what's the play? I've seen him talking to Bellic. Check the CEO's locker in the file room, see what you can find. Alright, so we got another little sneaky stealth section here. And we're gonna be heading to the left, and all you need to really make sure that you do is just get against the cover and wait till the guard is not looking in your direction. That's how you're gonna know, because there's no other indicators except for what you actually see on them. You can go around corners, but you can see you can kind of get glitched there if you try to do that, so just be careful. And you have a, a bunch of little sections like this. It's 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 kind of fun. It's very very basic, but it's still fun. Talk to me. Aprozzi's still running his family from the inside. He gets coded letters about the weekly takes, the big scores. I can tell you what they mean. Hand it over. I'll squeeze our Brutzi like a fat chick's ass. So, I'm still good here? As long as you keep feeding me the good stuff, ain't nothing gonna happen to you. Bellic is pumping teats in exchange for protection. I've got to get my hands on that letter. Hey, where'd he come from? Hey, Lewis, you going up to admin? Put this on my desk. No problem. All right, now we're going to get into the more advanced type of stealth stuff that you're going to be doing. Um, you're going to need to screw these out. It's very, very easy to do, but you do need to be very careful when you're unscrewing it because if you make too much noise, then you can attract attention and then have the guards come after you. So you got to be careful in that regard. We need to head to Bellic's office and retrieve the information. Hey Davis, command some stairwell check in the basement. You copy? Got it. I'm on the top floor. I'll clear it and work my way down. You actually don't need to wait here. Uh, I was thinking he was going to come down, but he actually doesn't even move until you get in. So just go ahead and go through the door, and then we're going to get into the locker here. Hey, Louie. You punching out? Need to talk with Becky, and then I'm gone. Talk? Right. Shut up, moron. Now, as I said previously, since we're playing on the hardest difficulty, you don't have the emblems of the enemies showing up or the, the prison guards. So it makes it much more tougher because you don't know exactly where they are. If you're playing on normal difficulty, you would have an emblem that shows you where the specific enemies are so you can judge when you need to move and when not. Hey, Becky. Hey, Louie. How are you? Easy like a truck stop hooker. 
Can I help you with something? Well, my uniform pants are getting kind of tight. We can't have our officers restricted in their movements. That's what I was thinking. It's a security matter. Come with me. I'll see what I can do. We're gonna get caught. By who? The warden. Baby, right now, right here, I am the warden. So you don't actually have to go and hide into this thing. I was just wanted to be prepared in case one of the guys came into the room because I can't see where they are. But no one comes into this room as far as I know. So you can go ahead and get out and start the process of getting into the next room. Uh, you just have to head to the X marker. All of it is very, very self-explanatory, which is why I'm really only going to be here to guide you during the sections that I feel are the toughest, except for this first part here where we're kind of learning the ropes and everything like that. What happens is you'll see a little emblem that'll come up on the screen that'll show red if he starts to see you. If it goes full red, then you've been caught and it's pretty much game over and you're going to have to start again. So essentially that's the whole process. You can't be seen. There is no getting to them in time to take them out or anything like that. These are, this is a, you're in a prison setting, so you can't really do that. As far as cameras, stay out of their way. You can go to the bottom of the camera if you rush here as quickly as possible to deactivate it here. You don't even really need to do this if you go to the automatically to the left and head up there. But just showing you some of the different things that you actually can do in the game. Ah yes, quick time events. This game has a lot of them, so just be prepared for the quick time events to come in those types of situations and you should be good to go. This next section can definitely be a little tricky because you don't have a lot of time to move around this one guard, this pesky guard. Uh, so definitely, you know, wait until uh, you have that perfect moment to move coming up.
Yo, new guy! Well, Bruzy's waiting for you in the showers! So my game actually glitched here, and my game is automatically moving without me pressing any buttons. I think something happened during the loading of the scene or something. So I literally, it took me, it was very hard to get me to move straight into this room. You but spied on me, bastard! Now you die! So here's some more combat. Again, we're still learning. Um, really, it's all about blocking and waiting for that moment to be able to do the counter. Uh, you can see the meter shows, once it goes down, once the red goes all the way down, then that's when you know that you've completed it. But it's really not that difficult. It just takes a little time to get used to, and then I think we're going to get a lot better at it as we move along and learn. All right, so we're coming up to the end of the chapter one, or we you did the prologue and then the chapter one. So hopefully you guys have been enjoying, and uh, let's keep going. Teats was selling you out, John. I'll kill that traitor. He's not going to be talking for a long time. You've earned your way into P.I., my friend. I made it into P.I. Now I can keep an eye on Schofield and figure out what he's up to. Trouble's coming. Someone's gonna flee. 